good morning we're going to go get our hair done so i blow dried the bob and we're going to go get some braids y'all so let's go because i am running like the tiniest bit behind i'm gonna be on time but i have to run to the uh beauty supply store first because i haven't had time to go get no hair the last time that i went to camille she does the best braids i'm sorry but the proof is in the pudding babe like her braids just eat every time and they last really long but last time i went to her we used this the q jumbo braid in the four 27 mix and obviously i know my hair color is kind of unique so i look crazy <laughs> so um my hair color is kind of unique so it's hard to find hair that matches but this actually looks really good i don't know if you can see but the four and the 27 mix it kind of gives off a tiny bit ashy just like my hair is so i don't know it just looked really good I'm put some pictures with my last braids so i'm like okay cool i just go see if they have more of that hair y'all they don't have nothing that matches my hair and honestly i'm not even surprised Wait, I'm just, are you loving it? Are you loving it? Yeah. Ooh, damn tragic. Yeah. Okay. Brush my teeth so I can be Y'all, look at my hair, oh my gosh. I'm so excited because I don't really begin braids like that, but this right here is so weird. When I tell you, I feel like a little goddess. I don't know, but. I love them. I feel like they look so sleek. My hair is out of my face. You know, it's super long. Let me try to show you how long it is. Let's see. Super, super long. Mm, mm, mm. I my blow dryer sitting right there, y'all. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I love this style. I always feel like like straight backs always look so good on women. So I was like, ooh, I want to try that. But y'all know these little designs have been going a little viral lately, like everybody's been doing them. So I was like, hmm, that would be a cute twist to what I've been wanting for the longest time anyway. So I tried out the little viral style and it's cute. Y'all know I have blunt ends though. So she tried her best to tuck them, but my hair is stubborn. So it's already kind of sticking out. What I came in the bathroom to do actually is to cut my baby hair. Y'all look at this. <laughs> it's giving horns and look how long this is like that's crazy so i came in here to trim my baby hair i actually do this anyway so this is really nothing new okay just cut a little bit off and look how much better that looks just with me cutting it like i might even cut it a little bit more on this side but i feel like it just lays a little better you know it's practically midnight it's like 12 30 a.m right now so i need to get my behind in the bed i literally just got home um i haven't been home in like 12 hours mm, 14 hours honestly so yeah a long day is all i'm saying um but i was hanging out with some family and stuff I don't think I, well, I did post this on Instagram, but like my uncle was missing. So I did post, you know, so you guys can help out and stuff like that. But unfortunately, you know, we found him and he did end up transitioning over. So family time has definitely been needed. So yeah, I really didn't do much today, but get my hair done and then go straight to family time. So yeah tomorrow i have a pretty much free day which i think i'm gonna try to fill up with some appointments some last minute appointments like a wax and um a pedicure so i'm gonna call in the morning and hopefully they have appointments i did have the camille rose what was it like rosemary or whatever but i ended up breaking it dropped it and broke it so i'm gonna use the fable mma hair oil this is for the roots just dropping it everywhere I feel so pretty with this like i feel naturally pretty i don't know how to explain it but straight back just really does something to you okay y'all gotta try them out i'm really tired by the way so i feel like i'm kind of talking slow <laughs> i'm just ready to get in bed okay so tie her up like this i don't tie it too tight because again my braids are already tight i don't need any more discomfort honestly when they loosen up this is what I'll do, just so that I can show you. 
I will kind of take them in half and cross them. So now it's this half is over here and that half is over here, right? And then I'll go like this, like do a crown pretty much. Go like this. And this can also work with a smaller bonnet if you don't have a big bonnet because you're keeping everything close to your head. And basically what you're doing is wrapping your braids. So all I'm gonna do is just hold it. You see the ends? I'm gonna hold it, put my smaller bonnet on it and it should keep it in place because the bonnet is smaller. So it should be okay. Hey braids. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited about these damn braids. Um, okay, we're back from the European Wax Center. So she basically waxed me alive because I was feeling a little like, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. So right now I'm actually, update, we have the itinerary finally emailed to us for the trip. So I can actually plan effectively, you know? Posted a little sneak peek on uh, Instagram, my stories. And a lot of people are asking me, girl, what, 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 what? I got you, sis, I got you, just hold on. Just grabbing my tripod really quick, but one thing I do, my little, one thing I do wanna note though, is that when I'm outfit planning, it's super important for me before to wash everything. Yes, wash everything. So right now my couch is looking crazy. It's full of like folded piles of clothes and like everything. I want everything clean because one, it's almost like me doing inventory in my head to see what I have. Um, and so all of my, like my whole wardrobe is flowing through my head, helping me decide what I need to pick blah 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 and then also it's important to wash everything because i need everything i'm talking down to shapewear and drawers girl i need it to be clean because certain outfits require certain undergarments so you know just wash everything i feel like that's one of my best packing tips this is one of the pages that i just started working on so we're going to kind of work on it in real time together we are in canva and i do have canva pro just so y'all know um but i have a pair of pants that's like this it's kind of dressy. It would look super cute at dinner, but it'll also be comfortable because they're oversized. It will be comfortable for the art walk and then the sip and paint, you know? So I'm gonna do this and I'm thinking a white tank top. I think with this, I feel like a pop of red would be super cute. And I'm already taking this bag with me on another outfit. So we can just incorporate it into this one too. I also have this tank top here, which I think would be nice with it. Also the goal is to dress in layers too, because if you know anything about Florida weather, it's all over the place. So I think I'm gonna do this as my base. Cause I feel like that would look good together, very cozy, and then add maybe a jacket or something over. So I was thinking this jacket from Zara that y'all know it's a super popular jacket. And I think that would be such a cute, comfortable outfit to throw on. And then I'll probably just do some tennis shoes, like some Asics or something. Sorry, my neighbors are slamming their door, but probably some Asics. Um, I have like these shoes right here that I could pair with it. I have these ones that I'm wearing already in another outfit so these could go with it because it's just white and silver so i feel like that will go well now one thing i will note is that i don't want to bring this jacket if it doesn't work with any other outfit so basically i'm gonna have to find something else because ideally i want all my pieces to be interchangeable because that's how i am able to not overpack but let's be real your girl gonna overpack regardless but in order to try to not to that's the effort okay i'm trying to make an effort to not overpack so that's pretty much what my like stipulations are for what is allowed to go into the suitcase. Unless it's just a complete look and I gotta get the look off. Yeah, that jacket gotta work for something else. So now that I have the itinerary, I feel like we can try to work it into another outfit. Now, another thing that I always, always, always get caught slipping on is like stuff too. Y'all see all my laundry on my couch? <laughs> um, I always get caught slipping on loungewear, y'all. Loungewear, oh girl, when you just need to run downstairs to go get some coffee or something or go get breakfast from downstairs or whatever in the hotel, what you gonna wear? Pack like just one or two sets or something like that that you could just throw on. Maybe you need to run to the store real quick. Maybe, you know, you can't just pack looks and looks and looks. You gotta like take into account those type of things too. So I always pack like a matching set, like maybe a black shirt and black leggings that I could throw on with any sneaker that I bring and I'll be good, you know? So, so yeah, I always like to keep that into account because I always get caught slipping, like always, always, always. You never know, you literally never know. Okay, so now we come in the closet and we grab 
exactly what we just planned so these are the trousers and then i also i'm gonna grab these black um, what color is this girl green <laughs> um i'm gonna steam these because jesus um green like comfy pants that i'm gonna wear with another outfit that i planned here is another one of my outfits so y'all can see i just unboxed this in my last video the nikki studios padded um button down i'm gonna wear my stripped i forget what this is called is this the cali or the coco one of the two but this is just like a little romper with the shorts love me some strip black on woman on yeah and then i also have this fanny bag y'all how cute is this come on now i have this and i'm like that will be the cutest little pop to go with this simple outfit and then i had these shoes my nikes just set to the side for that outfit too so now i think my goal is to have an outfit that has like a pop of color or something like we have two black and white outfits babe with a little red pop i just noticed that so maybe we will change the bag for the one that we just planned. Guess what I just got in the mail? Look at these pants. Oh my God, they're beautiful. These are vintage Roberto Cavalli jeans. And first of all, can I just say something? They fit perfectly. I just tried them on, had to make sure. But as I was trying them on, I noticed that the zipper was broken. Like, can y'all see the zipper is off the track. And then also, Ouch, I just hit my toe. This is ripped. So I'm like, you did not mention that in the listing. So what's going on? I've really been wanting a pair of Roberto Cavalli jeans because I just love the prints that he uses. And I came across these and was like, oh, this is perfect for my trip. And uh, they came damaged. So I'm a little irritated about that. But I also was gonna pair it with this little turtleneck. There's something in my eyelash. Um, this turtleneck here from Source Unknown, a little knit moment, and I thought this would be cute together, but the pants came and they are not the same color like I thought they were. So, yeah, we're gonna have to figure something else out unless I try it on together and it end up does looking good. It still kind of looks good together. What y'all think? I was fully expecting, I actually took these off of the outfit plans because... I was expecting to have to tailor them. Why do they fit perfect? This is so crazy to me that jeans come and they fit perfect. So your girl's gonna be investing more into some Roberto Cavalli jeans because the fact that I don't have to tailor them, hello? So we got another outfit and let me show y'all. I've just been laying them out on the couch like this. And also I got a desk for my like videos if I'm sitting here and I'm doing my makeup. And I need something right here because usually I just keep everything in my lap and it be falling off and just doing too much. So I got a little collapsible desk. Um, I got it from Amazon in case you are interested, but <laughs> this is what it looks like. Super lightweight, all the things, so yeah. Um, but we're going to move this out of the way. Oh my God, I also have this set right here from Local European. This actually might be super cute for the trip. Like this actually might be it. Let's bring this. I don't know where I'm gonna wear this at. But yeah, this is coming because I could just throw on a little tank top under. I actually wore this for fashion week. Um, and I don't feel like I got really good pictures in it. So we're gonna get some good pictures in it um, this time around. Good morning. We are about to start packing finally. I'm gonna just put y'all up here. Um, yesterday I spent Pretty much the entire day doing all of my laundry it took me forever because i have a million and five pieces of clothing so we did that knocked that out finished laying out pretty much everything like even down to can y'all see this not really but even down to like loungewear like pajamas all that stuff like everything only thing i have to pack uh next is my toiletry bag
And next up are my tech bags. These are from Dagny Dover. Love their stuff. So in here right now, I haven't filled it all the way up, but I have my um, SD cards, a remote charger, a thing for an SD card to go in, to go straight to your phone. Just in case there's a photographer and I want my pictures like right then and there because this is a brand trip. Um, my small little tripod can go in there. My fan, essential y'all, okay, essential. <laughs> That's gonna wanna go in there. My portable charger, this thing is heavenly. So that goes in there. Actually, I'm gonna put this on a charger. And this tripod right here that I told y'all about, this one, it's like this, folds up really small. And then the phone thing comes off so I can also put my camera on there. Started the packing process. I really just started because I wanted to film something for Instagram. So obviously we have more to go. So they told us to leave some space in our suitcase for something that they're gonna be giving us, but y'all know me. How am I supposed to do that? If I see space in a suitcase, that just makes me wanna fill it up. So I don't know about all this, but I'm gonna try. And then my little black romper from Strip goes with that. And then also my fanny pack can probably go at the bottom or I can go this way honestly Let's flip it and then we have all my pajamas which I'm kind of thinking about just taking a few so maybe the ones that I really want to bring which is these loungewear and then I really want to bring my black ones too because I always bring them but maybe just this other pair of cute pajamas. And I think that might be it. Let's throw on another pair of loungewear just cause. But then I just realized that I need to pack an outfit to come home in, which I'm probably going to just wear the same hoodie that I travel with and just change the underlayer. So maybe like a t-shirt and some leggings, probably just black. So I need to figure out which one of those I'm bringing. <sighs> I'm really trying to get this extra space, y'all. I don't know, I don't know. Cause in my toiletry bag, I gotta go there. My tech bag can go on the side of that. <sighs> I'm really trying not to bring two suitcases cause that's just too much. For only four days, technically, four full days. What's five full days? It's kinda like four and a half. Anyway. Whew. Let's go get our nails done and we can brainstorm on how we about to make this work when I get back. we're back i got my nails done how cute are they if it will focus there we go these are my nails so two black two white and then my thumb is black and then it's kind of the opposite on the other hand same kind of design and then here's the thumb but i'm gonna post you know some stuff on instagram so y'all be able to save it and all that good stuff so i just got back home i have two hours until I need to go get my um, pedicure. It's literally right over there where I get my nails done, but I was not gonna stick around. I was like, let me come home, be productive, and then just go right back over there. Hey y'all, so I was trying to repair these. Also, I got AirPod Maxes. I don't think I ever showed that, but I got them for Christmas. Anyway, I was trying to repair these pants that I showed y'all, right? Cause I know what I'm doing around the sewing machine. You know, I know what I'm doing around the needle and thread. So I'm like, bet, let me repair the zipper real quick. That's kind of easy. I made it worse because I don't even have what I need to actually repair it with. So I was trying to halfway repair it, then go get some more materials to actually repair it. 
Girl, the zipper is just faulty. Like, I think it's just the zipper because it just, it won't even, I don't know. I know a little trick to fix a zipper, but it's not even doing that. So I think it's just a zipper. Um, I might have to sew myself into these pants, y'all. <laughs> I will 100% sew myself into these pants. So I'm just like, how am I gonna do this? Like, no, I don't know. I'm just highly disappointed in this purchase. And also I contacted Best Year Collective because they inspect your purchase right before they send it out to you. They didn't notify me that the zipper was broken and the description of the item said that, you know, the it had no defects, no rips, no tears, no nothing. That was not true. So I'm stuck with these pants that I really want to wear on this daggone trip, but I'm just kind of feeling like, I don't know. It's upsetting me and my homegirls. It is what it is. So we're just gonna roll with the punches, finesse like we usually do, because that's what I'm gonna do every single time is finesse something. And either I sew myself into the pants or I possibly may have like some hooks or something that I can sew on here. I don't even know. I don't know. I'm supposed to be excited. And I'm just exhausted. But it's okay. We're going to get it together. And we're going to have a good old time. And that's just that. Okay. We're not going to let a little pair of pants ruin the party. And if I can't fix it girl. We're just going to grab another pair of pants from that closet. And figure it out from there. Because I'm not about to be stressed out over no pair of pants Joe. got a pedicure should i show you my feet <laughs> now it's grind time because it is 7 45 we need to get this show on the road because i do want to um actually get some sleep tonight so yeah because my flight is not that long so i could say oh i'm sleeping on a plane girl your flight is two hours you ain't gonna let it sleep at all so i bought some stuff from target as y'all saw to try to fix these pants so that's what we about to do
in my bathroom so you know we're gonna do some type of beauty maintenance i want to dermaplane my face because i just feel like i'm looking real dull and i need to get it together this ain't even skincare babe this is oil for my skin so i want to just give myself a little reset so that yeah and then give myself a little facial because i think i told y'all this but this right here it won't go away it's been there for weeks i don't know what to do um i've used tons of products done this done that and it just literally won't go away so <laughs> random time to um go to the dermatologist that i go to so we are forced to just have it sit on our face until we can get back and go see her um i'm gonna be using this star friday's heavenly 16 oil let's zoom in see so i can get a little close up i usually just use like a regular razor but we're gonna use the actual tool you can do this on dry skin i personally like to do it on oiled skin because i feel like it just gives my skin a better glide and i don't want to break out anything from it tugging on my skin or irritating whatever so i like to do it with oil i'm gonna wash my face really quick using a mirrored cleanser because i did actually put on a little tiny bit of makeup earlier as i was like packing and testing stuff out so we just want to get that off all right face is clean so now let's do my oil again the summer fridays heavenly 16 we're just gonna douse our face in it because we want some good slip on my skin can y'all hear it oh my god oh wow I haven't done this in so long. And baby, when I tell you this mustache, she gotta go. We are done, pretty much. How do I look? This is minus the yellow from the oil. <laughs> this is what came off my face. I know, gross. But already my skin feels like butter. Butter, butter, butter. Yes, um, I haven't done this in so long. I need to keep this routine up. I told myself in 2024, I need to be consistent with these routines. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make sure that we keep up dermaplaning because I actually really love the results it gives. Now I'm about to actually do my skincare routine so that my products can actually sink into my face. I am using the Desi, that's not the Desi. I'm using the Desi gel cleanser. Yeah, the Canvas Gentle Detox Cleansing Gel. And then I'm gonna go in with my Polish Choice Toner. This is the Nourishing Milky one and it's for like basically to calm your skin. So any brightness that I had from just dermaplaning or um, anything, just manipulating my face in general, hold on. Um, it'll help with that. And it really does a great job at getting rid of redness. And then after that, I'm gonna use my Super Active Capsules from Beauty Pie. I love these things, y'all. I did a sponsorship with them, but these right here really are a hit. So these and you just pop it open and you squeeze it on your face. Buttery skin, top lip. Okay, and then after that, I'm gonna use the Inky List Bioactive Ceramide Repairing and Plumping Moisturizer. Also did a, a partnership with them. And y'all, this is so good, y'all. This freaking moisturizer is too good. When I tell you your skin is gonna feel like it's never felt before, I was so shook when I first used it and now I can't stop. And I did a partnership with them too, I think I just said that right, I don't know. But that was sponsored, this is not babes. This right here is bomb, both of these. And I love when I get a sponsorship and I actually love, love, love the product. So basically I got 10 minutes 
to get about this house because I scheduled my Uber, so ain't no denying it at this point. Pack my toothpaste. Um, I think that's everything I need from here, honestly. Put the order in the one. I have, who is still kind of sore from my wax. Put the order in the one. I mean, I already put the order in my bag. I have multiple deodorants. Because I'm not playing around. <laughs> um what else do i have to do pack an extra outfit which is easy peasy um i can't even think right now and i look really pale maybe because i don't play my skin feels amazing though i'm gonna use my elegin what element <laughs> pro collagen marine cream from my shirt today my skin gets I feel like it always feels weird after I travel oh this is gonna do the trick every time this is so good I have a really good collection of skincare in my opinion okay y'all it's pretty much game time I have like one minute before my hurry up bitch alarm goes off so we need to kick it in high gear cuz five minutes Ooh. Wait, I hope I did it for 440. All right, first trip of the year. I'm so excited. Uh, Y'all, we're going to Disney and guess who's taking us? Freaking Disney themselves. That is crazy, 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 crazy. First trip of the year and it's a brand trip. Mm, it's just bittersweet because it's actually my first brand trip. So it just hits even different. Um, but yeah, y'all, let's get ready. I have like two minutes, so I will see y'all in Disney.